The D Las Vegas' Tiny TV on OC16, now on Channel 12. I'm your host, Tiny Tadani, with a nice cup of coffee to start you off on the show. A cup of Jew, some Java. <laughs> it is the Kona Coffee Cultural Festival. That's where we're at. They do it every November. It's that time of year when things are happening on the Big Island, on the West Coast. This is the very most West Coast of the island. Uh, the other thing that happens out here is the uh, Ironman Triathlon, yeah? Along this way. But I'm here for the coffee festival or cultural coffee festival. I have my media pass, yes. I want to thank them for inviting me back. I, I lived here for some years, got to run a radio station, KKON. Now there's so many stations. And, and Taylor was born right here in Kona Hospital, the editor of my show. Well, he's my son, so I make him edit my show. So I'm back, and we're here to showcase a whole bunch of this stuff. Hey, before we get to the uh, Coffee Cultural Festival, we want to tell you about some of my sponsors, like Aloha Water, speaking of water, which we see behind us. Been with me from the very beginning. The best water, they've got the negatively charged water, they've got the small bottles, the big bottles, whatever you want. They, they even ship around to Japan, Philippines, all that. You know, they're around the world now because they've got Aloha. Lex Brody's, the best tire service, but they've gone on to fixing everything else. They fixed my brakes recently, my alternator. They do safety checks, whatever you need. Call Lex Brody's and tell them I sent you, and uh, that probably won't help. But just, just go to Lex Brody's. They got the best prices anyway. And they give you the Thank You Very Much Award, which will be seen shortly right here on the D Las Vegas' Tiny TV. Which brings us to the D, my title sponsor. Thank you, D. When you go to Las Vegas, the most happening place, not just in downtown, it's the old Fitzgeralds, but they are like the happening place in Las Vegas now. They have their own shows and they do concerts and boxing, MMA fights, everything. But you just have a great time there, right? Downtown, so you don't have to go to the Strip to have a good time, okay? The D, Las Vegas. Again, my title sponsor here. And I wanted to give a special thanks to McKinley Car Wash. Craig and the guys, Yuki, everybody there, you guys are sensational. I mean, that is the only car wash that there's always a line for, yeah? And, and it's not just that, they do uh, gas and, and everything. So McKinley Car Wash, right on Kapiolani, been there for years. In fact, they opened about the same year I was born, 1963. That's how long they've been there. McKinley Car Wash, thank you for being a sponsor. Again, from the very beginning of my show. All my sponsors stick with me forever, I love it because I don't leave them alone. Like Kona, I keep coming back. They actually invited me, so thank you again for my media pass so I get to go everywhere and check out the Kona Coffee Cultural Festival. And you get to two now. So we're gonna take my tiny cam out to Kona and specifically right now to the Keho Bay Keho Shopping Center where they're doing a cupping, a cupping contest and much more, we'll find out. What it is here on the D Las Vegas is Tiny TV on OC60. Uh, hi, uh, Chai. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Now um, we know Chai the chef, but you're Chai the coffee expert here. Hope so. How many years of coffee background? I uh, six years. I worked for Greenwell Farms uh, 2009. Okay. Now Greenwell Farms are known as one of the top farmers here. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now tell us about this cupping contest or. What is it here, part of the Kona Coffee Cultural Festival? Uh, this co uh, competition here is only for, right now, is for the Kona Coffee farmers. Now, I can hear them like doing the, the sipping and everything. Now, I hope they're not going to interrupt them when they do that, but I want to listen close up to one of our judges. Oh, okay, now that's part of, I guess you get the true taste. Yes, it is. They're now actually taking the coffee and really slurping it so that they can spray the all inner lining of their mouth and then they're going to look for flavor they're going to look for acidity they're going to look for body they're going to look for aftertaste balance and the overall char uh, characteristics of this coffee well thank you for enlightening me on some of the coffee stuff you're very welcome and enjoy the festival we will do thanks chai and our judges in the meantime let's listen to more sounds of our Nakapuna o West Hawaii. Ooh, we get dance too. All right. And one lucky brother here get to play with all the ladies.
Nakapuna o West Hawaii. Thank you, you guys. Mahalo. Okay, I was told that I need to talk to the uh, hula daddy guys. Okay, now, now, hula daddy, tell me a little bit about you guys. Where are you located? How long have you been in business? We've been in business since 2002, and we're located uh, across the street from Makualani Christian School near Palani Junction. We've got 30 acres, and we're having a great time. So, uh, right. What are you guys doing at this festival so far? We are doing four different pours, four different brews of each type of coffee that we have. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask this guy because he's got the kettle. What is a pour or a brew or what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing, like right now, I'm doing a French press. Okay. What you do is, like you see right there, uh, we're just going to wet the ground. Wow, that looks good. Like you can kind of smell it while you're doing that. Right, yeah. I'm liking this so far. Now, if you guys want to experience some of this, they also have free, I see the word free on that flyer, young lady. What does that say? Free samples, free tours. Oh, okay. And best way is just go to the website? Go to the website. We are a boutique coffee, so you can only buy it on the property, online, or through our coffee club. Okay, move your thumb so I can see it. Oh, I'm that's sorry. Good. No, that's good. Hula Daddy. Dot com. Even the t-shirts, everything, got to get them. Are the hula skirts available too? Oh, my special order. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to try some of this coffee. Look at it. That's a siphon. It's a siphon, I'm learning. It's going and brewing as we speak. Okay, now, what, what kind of grind is that? Like, it looks fine. It is a fine grind. When you're doing a pour over, preferably use a fine grind. It's all measured out to approximately two or three heaping teaspoons, which we would equate to 18 grams. <laughs> you know, this is good learning experience. Keep keep pouring, guys, and then this is kind of the best way to get experience the taste. Would you say? Yeah. You're next. <laughs> I'll go for it. I like coffee. Now I'm a weak drinker. Do you guys have uh, cream and uh, Splenda? 